Welcome back to Park and Post. Today, we're diving into a super important topic, 20 things you should never do at the airport before a flight. Whether you're a first-time flyer or a seasoned globetrotter, these tips are going to be game changers for your travel routine. So grab your passport and let's get ready for takeoff. First on our list, never arrive late. Airports are unpredictable. Long lines at check-in and security can eat up your time. Remember, boarding gates close several minutes before the flight's scheduled departure. Think about Emily, who missed an important international connection because she underestimated the time needed for security checks. Or John, who arrived just 30 minutes before his flight and found the check-in counter closed. These situations not only cause stress but can also lead to additional costs for rebooking. It's crucial to arrive at least two hours before domestic flights and three hours for international ones. This buffer time can be a lifesaver, especially during peak travel seasons or at large airports. And if you're traveling with checked luggage or need special assistance, consider adding extra time. Next up, never forget your essential documents. Your ID, passport, and boarding pass are your tickets to the world. Imagine the frustration of getting to the airport and realizing you left your passport on the kitchen counter. This happened to Sarah, who couldn't board her flight to Paris, leading to a missed vacation. Then there's Mike, who left his boarding pass at home. The time taken to issue a new one almost made him miss his flight. Always double-check you have all necessary documents before leaving for the airport. It's a good idea to keep them in an easily accessible part of your carry-on. And in this digital age, having electronic copies on your phone can be a great backup. Thirdly, never overpack your luggage. Airlines have strict baggage weight limits, and exceeding them can lead to hefty fees. A typical example is Jane, who had to pay an unexpected $100 for her overweight suitcase. And Alex, who thought he could get away with an oversized carry-on, only to be asked to check it at the gate, causing him to scramble at the last minute. Pack smart. Use luggage scales to weigh your bags at home. Remember, you'll likely buy souvenirs, so leave some room. And be familiar with your airline's baggage policy to avoid any surprises at the airport. Number four, ignoring security rules. The TSA has clear guidelines on what you can and cannot bring in your carry-on. Kevin, for instance, forgot to remove his laptop from his bag, resulting in extra screening time. And Lisa, who left a full water bottle in her bag, had to undergo a secondary check, which delayed her. Always check the TSA website before your flight for the latest rules. This includes guidelines on liquids, electronics, and personal items. Being prepared speeds up the process for everyone. Number five is a big no-no joking about security threats. Airport security is no laughing matter, and jokes about bombs or weapons can lead to serious legal trouble. Take Chris's story, who made a bomb joke in the security line and ended up detained for hours, missing his flight. Anna had a similar experience. Her offhand comment about carrying a weapon led to her arrest. Always be mindful of your words and actions at the airport. Security personnel are trained to take any threat seriously, and even an innocent joke can cause major disruptions and legal consequences. Number six, never disrespect airport staff. These professionals are here to help you, and being rude can backfire. Tom learned this the hard way when he was denied boarding after arguing with a check-in attendant. Rachel's impolite behavior towards a security officer not only caused her additional screening, but also a missed flight. Remember, kindness goes a long way. Being polite and understanding can sometimes help you get better. Service and assistance, especially in stressful situations or when dealing with unexpected issues. Seventh on our list is leaving your luggage unattended. This is also a big security no-no. Jack's brief moment of inattention led to a terminal evacuation when his unattended bag was spotted. Claire had a similar experience. Her forgotten backpack caused a security scare, bringing in the bomb squad and delaying flights. Always keep your belongings with you. If you need to leave your luggage for any reason, 
seek assistance from airport staff. Unattended bags not only cause security alerts but could also get stolen or lost. Number 8. Ignoring flight information. Airports are dynamic environments and flight details can change. Dave learned this the hard way when he didn't notice his gate change and missed his flight. Emma, on the other hand, didn't pay attention to delayed announcements and spent extra unnecessary hours at the airport. Keep an eye on the flight information screens and listen to announcements. Many airlines also offer mobile apps where you can receive real-time updates about your flight. Ninth tip, avoid excessive drinking. Airports and flying can be stressful, but overindulging in alcohol is a bad idea. John, who had one too many drinks at the airport bar, was deemed unfit to fly. Lucy's case was similar. Intoxicated, she became disruptive on the flight and was escorted off. While a small drink might help some people relax, it's crucial to know your limits. Airlines have the right to refuse passengers who are intoxicated as they can pose a safety risk. Tenth, using unprotected Wi-Fi. Free airport Wi-Fi is convenient but can be a hotspot for cyber criminals. Mark's personal data was compromised when he connected to an open network, leading to identity theft. Jenny had a similar experience. Her credit card information was stolen after using airport Wi-Fi for online shopping. Always use a virtual private network, VPN, when connecting to public Wi-Fi. This extra layer of security can protect your personal information from being accessed by others on the same network. Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. But let's get back to the topic. 20 Things to Never Do at an Airport Before a Flight 11th, Never forget to check visa requirements. This is crucial for international travel. Bob's excitement turned to disappointment when he was denied entry to Brazil for not having a visa. Linda faced a similar setback when she was denied entry to India due to a visa issue, disrupting her travel plans. Always research the visa requirements for your destination well in advance. Entry rules can vary greatly between countries and change frequently, so it's essential to stay updated. Number 12. Disregarding Customs Regulations Each country has specific rules about what you can bring in and take out. Alex had to pay a fine for not declaring certain electronic items at customs. Maria, who brought prohibited fruits into another country, faced penalties and had her items confiscated. Before traveling, familiarize yourself with the customs regulations of your destination. This includes understanding limits on cash, food, and other items. It's better to be safe than sorry. Thirteenth on our list, carrying prohibited items. Tom's oversight of packing a pocket knife in his carry-on led to it being confiscated and him missing his connecting flight. Amy learned a similar lesson when her large bottle of perfume well over the liquid limit, was seized at security. Check your airline's and TSA's list of prohibited items before packing. Commonly overlooked items include certain toiletries, tools, and some types of food. Packing correctly saves time and trouble at security. Fourteenth tip, never skip packing essential medications in your carry-on. John's story is a cautionary tale. His checked luggage with his medication was lost, leaving him without necessary treatment. Lisa also had a scare when she realized her inhaler was in her checked bag, which was delayed. Always keep your important medications with you in your carry-on, along with a copy of your prescription. This ensures you have access to your meds during your flight and in case of luggage delays. Fifteenth, neglecting to label your luggage. It's a simple step but can save a lot of hassle. Kevin's unlabeled suitcase was misplaced and took days to locate. Emily's untagged bag went missing and was never returned. Clearly label your luggage with your name, contact information, and address. This increases the chances of your lost luggage being returned to you. It's also helpful to put a unique identifier like a ribbon or sticker to easily spot your bag. 
16th on the list, avoid engaging in arguments. Airports can be stressful, but losing your cool can lead to serious consequences. Consider Mark, who got into a heated argument with another passenger over a minor issue. The altercation escalated, leading to both being detained and missing their flights. Sarah's case was similar. She argued with an airline employee over a baggage fee, which not only resulted in her missing her flight, but also facing a temporary ban from the airline. Stay calm and composed. If you encounter a problem, approach it calmly and seek assistance from airport staff. They are trained to handle disputes and can often provide a solution. 17th, ignoring health precautions, especially important in times like a pandemic. Chris, who traveled without a mask during a flu outbreak, ended up catching the virus, resulting in a week of missed activities. Jane ignored social distancing guidelines at the airport lounge and contributed to a health scare that delayed her flight and others. Such incidents not only affect you, but also those around you. Follow health advisories, wear masks when required, and maintain social distance. These small steps can protect you and others, ensuring everyone's safety and well-being. 18th, wearing inappropriate clothing. Airports have dress codes, and not adhering to them can cause unnecessary delays. Tom wore a T-shirt with an offensive slogan, which drew attention from security and led to an extended screening process. Lisa's experience was similar. She wore a metal-studded jacket that set off the metal detector, resulting in a thorough pat-down and questioning. Dress comfortably and sensibly for air travel. Avoid clothing with offensive prints or excessive metal accessories that can trigger security alerts. Nineteenth on our list, forgetting chargers or adapters. In today's connected world, this can be a major inconvenience. Mike's phone died at the airport, leaving him unable to access his digital boarding pass or contact his family. Sarah had a similar experience. She couldn't complete her work during a layover due to a forgotten laptop charger, leading to a missed deadline. Always pack your device chargers and travel adapters in your carry-on. It's also a good idea to bring a portable power bank for those long travel days. Okay now, don't forget to join our free newsletter and become a friend of Park and Post. By signing up, you'll receive exclusive offers and updates. Click the link below to join our newsletter and start enjoying the benefits today. Lastly, number 20. Disregarding time zones. This can lead to confusion and missed flights. Jennifer missed her connecting flight due to a time zone mix-up. She thought she had an extra hour, but in reality, her flight was in a different time zone. Paul's story is similar. He arrived too early for his flight, resulting in a long, unnecessary wait at the airport. Always double-check the local time of your departure and arrival destinations. Consider using a world clock feature on your phone or watch to keep track of time zones. And there you have it, 20 essential tips to ensure a smooth experience at the airport. Remember, a little preparation and awareness can make your travel much more enjoyable. If you found these tips helpful, hit that like button, share with fellow travelers, and don't forget to subscribe to Park and Post for more travel insights and advice. Safe travels. We'll catch you in the next video.